When Australian touch football teams travel to Scotland this June, the fate of the World Cup will rest heavily in the hands of the Walls End Association. Eleven players have been selected across various teams, from open women's through to men's over 40s. <coughs> Bo Newell becomes the first referee from the club selected to take part in a World Cup. There's only one player from Walls End that's played in a previous World Cup, mm -hmm. so we're basically all new to it, so um, I think we'll just lap it up and yeah, live it up over there. Australia has never lost the tournament since it began in 1988. This year, 92 teams representing 27 countries will do battle in Edinburgh, and as usual, our Kiwi neighbours remain the greatest threat. New Zealand has always been the biggest competition for us overseas. Um, they've defeated us in a few different divisions over the past few years. Unlike most other sports, Australian touch football players are completely self-funded, with the trip set to cost around $6,000. The Walls End Association has been holding holiday coaching clinics to help alleviate some of the expense, with more fundraisers to come. Considering the effort they've put in to make it this far, it's clear no one wants to miss out. For most of us it's been uh, about over 12 months of training to get to where we are today and we've still got another nine weeks to get to our full fitness. Mitchell Hughes, NBN News.